What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Let's get this party started. We're going to be diving into episode four of season nine. This episode is called Passion. Let's get it, boys and girls. Let's go. Woo! one of the most feared nutters in Govan. Now look at me, cutting about here with a pair of rubber gloves and a red penny. Oh, Christ, if I die in a car crash on the way home, I'll become a gay icon. I don't any more than you do. I'm coming mad old tail here. I couldn't get a Johnny on, far less get these bloody things out. You know how my ma doesn't like cleaning this house? Because of the antisocial old fart that owns the place. Here, here, that man's a minister of the cloth. That's a reverend old fart to you. What about him? I think she's right. Guy's got a dark side. What do you mean? Whoa! <gasps> Bloody right! Guy's a heater. <laughs> you better make a good job of that agar, otherwise you'll make it an arse full of buckshot. <laughs> Don't bite your bricks! <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> Where is she? It's not good enough. I've been spending my gyro here for years. Don't call it a gyro. Call it a second home allowance. <laughs> here she comes now. Hello. Morning, sweetheart. I was just saying, the elbows. Oh, a hell of a bang, didn't they? Elbow. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, the wane's no well. Had to wait in for the doctor. Uh, do you think that might cheer the wee lamb up a bit? Uh, can I speak for the wane? It'll do for me. Cheers, Jamesy. Be king to the pram, the mall will follow. <laughs> I don't get it. I thought you hated Gash. No, no. We're still great friends. That's quite a big turnaround over Gash, Brady. Who's brought it on? iPod. Speak. Jesus. Mama's a mentalist. I want to listen to my dad. After all I've done for a tea, iPod. <laughs> you see what I'm up against? If I don't get gash back, I'll lose peaches. Don't you worry, Hen. You leave it to me. I'll see what I can do. iPod. <laughs> do as you're told. See, that's how families used to be, eh? How they should be. Uh, bored and ugly. Christ, we can manage that. That's before his wife left him. I know how he feels. I miss having a girlfriend. What are you talking about? What about Brady? I mean one that likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You've done the hard bit, haven't you? You're off the drugs. So all you've got to do now is get your salute there. Then you sell some nice wee lassie that'll drive you to drink. I like you. Christ, how the hell am I supposed to know? Actually, come to think it, I, I do know one that's on the Bosman market. Vivacious, mm. fun loving. <laughs> that's no hurt. <laughs> All right, Reverend. <laughs> the wife sends her apologies about a grand wing business to attend to, you know. <laughs> women, eh? <laughs> Aye, women. So I stupid to say you're not one for small talk, eh? <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> well, fair enough, fair enough. So, uh, anything else we can do for you? No. F off. Jesus! I meant bless you. Father! Wow! That's colourful language. Good job I'm an enlightened bastard. Otherwise, you'd end up in Nilty's in church door. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I might be a single parent, but I've got a life. What, do you think after I call time, I just stand in the corner with a towel over my head, just waiting for tomorrow? Why not? I do. <laughs> I'll tell you another great band. The Ten Inch Nails. Nine Inch. Oh, ten. An extra inch. The story of my life. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Ten inches. Hello? She's having a look for another woman. Low self-esteem and father issues. Any grandfather issues? Then go on. Burst my balloons. Mm. But I'm telling you, see when she gets off that phone, I'm going to ask her out. Don't be an arse. She knows you're married. I thought about that. I'm going to murder Ella and bury her under the porch. <laughs> Don't tell her, though. She'll just take it personal. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. You're crazy. Yeah, it's a huge relief. OK. This is it. Eh, uh, Camille. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was just wondering if perhaps, maybe, you, you, you care to come out and join me for a... All oh, right, Rob. Greetings, pals. I never saw you come in there, Rob. No, that's because there's a woman in your eye like that. That was a cure for cancer, walking in that window wearing a pink ribbon. You wouldn't have seen that either, would you? <laughs> Gosh, have you met Camille? Never had the pleasure. I, I've seen you around, though. I likewise, round and about. <laughs> about and around. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giddy, light-headed frisson in the air. Or as we call it in Govan, swine flu. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut him a wee bit of slack, eh? Give him the old hips, way. Nice, Rob. Oh, goodness me, is that the time already? <laughs> is that you away, Dad? That is, I'm away, aye, aye. I have a sudden, uh, I have a sudden unexpected appointment, uh, which will likely take me some time. Seeing as how it's imaginary. <laughs> oh well, she could buy the new. Yo, Rab is smart. Can you imagine how many times she must be hit on, like, or you know, just a bartender in general by guys, you know, etc., drunk and shit? Oh, forget it. Probably thousands, millions of times. Happy days. Do you remember marathons? Do I? The hell of asking for a Snickers bar for the first time. <laughs> What was your first record? Touching, innit? The universal lover's language of utter shite. <laughs> shite. Ho, oh, flip up. What? <laughs> you are man doing that fin of yours and the way and get your slack crook up. <laughs> I think it's game over for you, boy. I thought you'd tell him that, Rob, but he wouldn't listen. What a man, eh? Five foot ten. Had all of it prick. <laughs> Don't cry. You prick. Nutty. How the hell was that supposed to know? Brady wants back with gas for the sake of the way, and I knew you've got to blow it. Look, Gas and Camille haven't even been out yet. I mean, they might hate the sight of one another. True. I want Gas to settle down. It's important that Peaches has a feather. It's important that Feather has a life. Oh, it's all right for you, eh? You've got God. Oh, aye, you think that was easy? You ever seen the road to Damascus? There's no a pub for miles. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Bridie Hen. Aye, aye. Oh, no, no, don't, don't. No, uh, 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 we're taking care of it, promise. Aye, hang on in there, Hen. Cheerio. What the hell is it now? The doctor's gave her pills for depression. If she doesn't get gas back, she's committing suicide on Sunday. Whoa! Why <laughs> Sunday? I'll bring the link up on Saturday night. <laughs> You're not taking this seriously. Oh, she's just at it. She's just trying to crank up the pressure. And what if she is serious? It'll be in your conscience. Look, who she say Gash and Camille are even hitting it half? They'll probably be each other's throats even as we speak. Uh oh. Oh, Camille. <gasps> what a babe. We're going out together tomorrow night. Honest to God, this is the best I've felt in months. Thanks, Da. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll handle it, I'll handle it. <laughs> Whoops. You got my wits in. Brady loves Gash. Gash loves Camille. The eternal bloody triangle, you know. Holy shit, I just peeped what he's doing. <laughs> you freaking... Yo, this guy is verb central. I love Camille. All right, the eternal bloody oblong, then. He's satisfied. <laughs> Don't shout at me, Rap. I've got inner bruising. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it's an interesting den you've got here, eh? Ah, well, we all need a respite from the stresses and strains of modern life. Some men like to fish. Me, I prefer to recline under a pavement and look up women's kilts. <laughs> What's in the... <clears throat> I'm sorry I hurt your feelings in the pub the other day. Forget it. 
She's well, I thought you were going to make a clown of yourself with Camille, you know. Young muff old cock, never works. I shan't forget it. Can I help her if I'm an incurable romantic? Oh, no, curable. You got the antibiotics up Black Street Clinic. I'm still spiral. I feel I've got one last big heavyweight love thing left in me before I finally hang up my cock. <laughs> Camille, you're asking for trouble. Now, what do you care? As long as I split her up for gash. All right, all right, all right, fair enough. So, uh, can you maybe help me out? <laughs> help you? Why not get a name rap? You're asking me to wash out your emotional wife, friends, so why not say what it is? All right, all right, will you, will you split up Gash and Camille? Fair means are fair. Oh, Christ, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Excellent. boy. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. <gasps> oh, well, getting gossip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's see what Jamesy does. Isn't this weird? Us two bumping into each other. I know. Like, totally random, man. <laughs> Are you waiting for... Oh, what's her name again? Camille. Camille. That's it. Oh, it does my heart proud to see you two young people getting together, finding happiness. Just like me and Ella. Well, not like you and Ella. We like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, dude. <laughs> Of course, it wasn't always like that, you know. I was in love myself once. Well, no, we all are, obviously. <laughs> Do you know your problem, Jamesy? You settled for second best. Mm. You can't always get what you want in life. Or who you want. What was her name? Who? The woman, the one you fell in love with. <gasps> well, by an amazing coincidence, Camille. No way. Way, bro. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I have a picture of the bitch somewhere here. <laughs> I mean, just lay my hands on my very focals all day, Jack. Like, oh, look. Is, is that name under your chair there? Oh, shoot. No, can't you see them? Ah, never mind. Well, anyway, here's to you and... What's the young lady's name again? Camille. <laughs> That's it. My memory. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Don't worry. I'm a Christian. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm just going to sniff you. <laughs> sniff it. And stroke you. Whoa. And fondle you. Whoa. Get my digit into your gushing. Exuberant froth. Sexual. And remember the good times. Bucket, let's go all the way. Do it, do it, do it. What are you doing? Uh, I was just getting your pain. So, uh, have you seen gas? Ram, my plan is in motion. All right. Now, listen, I don't want that boy hurt big as well. He's been through enough in his life, what with an alky feather and, and drug addiction. I mean, see that crack? That crack is the, the most vile, evil drug known to man. I don't know what I see, eh? How do you feel about Rahipnol? Eh? Dear God, that's worse. Anybody that can slip somebody out is the, is the lowest, sickest, most scuttling form of human rat life ever to walk the earth. Jamesy? God, I mean... You scum! Jamesy? Crack is whack. Crack Jamesy? is whack. Gas, wake up! Camille! What the dickens? It's everything. It's gas, Jamesy. He's out his face. Goodness sake. And after everything he told me about cleaning up his act. That's it. He's chucked. Oh, youngsters, eh? The curse of binge drinking. And I was really looking forward to this. I've not had a night out in ages. Forgive me, but 
I was about to hit Regano's for a dirty big cocktail. Would you care to join me for to get tore into one as well? Regano? He's going. I know. I paid the babysitter. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Camille. Go to sleep. Sleep, guys. <laughs> Thanks for an evening, Jamesy. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I just hope you didn't ladder your tights when we had to vault the subway ticket barrier, you know. I'll bring my dosh next time. There won't be a next time. Yeah, no. Are you kidding? Apart from anything else, you're married. I see. And what if I wasn't married, eh? Are you daft? You and Ella were born married. How's that going to change? Damn. The boys? Heavenly Father, I kneel before you. In the past, I would have strolled before you, oozing fluid from every orifice. <laughs> By your grace, I was lifted up. Lifted up and thrown in the back of a chucky van and given a right good pummeling down the cells in Orkney Street, Nick. <laughs> yeah, verily, I had the shit kicked out of me, <laughs> letting enlightenment in. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me peace. Uh, one word. What do you say? Murder! What do you mean James is going to kill Ella? Let me rephrase it. Kill Gonny, Jamesy, Ella is any cleaner. What, you heard him say that? In the giblet bar. It's been praying in my mind ever since. See, she thought you'd just rush around here and let it pray in my mind and all, did you? Sorry, Rab, I, I don't mean to pass the buck, but you're religious. You've got the inside track to Jehovah. Christ, I can't even catch a barman's eye in a pub, let alone talk to God. God, I think he means that. Jamesy's happily married, Rab. So murder and desperation are always close to the surface. On top of that, he's loved up. And you know what that does to a man, don't you? Love is crazy. Don't do it, man. Horror film. <laughs> She's tied up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I'm decorating a scullery. What do you think I'm doing? Get away! I'm only strangled you, you toxic midden. <laughs> You've ruined my life. <laughs> I'm a woman. It's my job. Get over it. Don't push it. You guys peep that Vaseline by the table? <laughs> I mean it, Ella. All right. All right, but it takes nerve to kill somebody, Jamesy. To have a frail woman in your control, at your mercy, powerless, writhing helplessly, the thin fabric of her nighty riding upwards. <laughs> it's erect, God damn it. studs, her thighs yielding, her body squirming under your brutish strength and sinewy raw. Ah! Weakness. Put the mask on. Put the mask on. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. What the hell are you doing? Put down that sock and that washing line. Rob, don't shove me with the angel. I'm lapsed. It's bad luck. Who's your told? And now, now the hard on. Go on, put it in. Put it in. Nice and easy. Right, Rob. Dear Loaded. Jamesy, put an elastic band on it and save it for later. <laughs> You've got the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> you mean he's, he's not trying to do you in? We're about to enjoy an adult romp. I, I, I brings in here to save your immortal soul. Well, unless it's located down my knicker leg. I'm afraid, Rab, you're backing up the wrong tree. <laughs> Oh, well, 
Sorry I've troubled you. Not at all. Ah, before you go, have you got an elastic band? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Where the hell have you been? You don't want to know. <laughs> Where the hell is this? Oh, it's for the Reverend Mar. He's on your case. Yeah. <clears throat> Dear fat bastard, you forgot to mop the floor, Reverend Mar. <laughs> He's a cheery big swine, isn't he? Ah, well, it was in your watch, Rab. You better fix it. Ah, well, one demented swine at a time. Day at the morning. Dear God, I'll tell you. See, see the night I've had. You wouldn't believe it. First of all, I duke through in the church for a quick pray and I died a quiche. The next thing you know, I'm trying to stop a bloody murder. Oh, <laughs> my God. Who was it? The quarters. Ella? Oh, relax. Turns out they were at the porno mind games, you know. Stick to good and evil, Rab. When it comes to the quarters, we are out of our depth. Uh, yeah. Where is, uh, where is Gash, by the way, honey lamb? I thought it was with you, Angel Delight. You were supposed to be taking care of things. Well, I delegated to Cotter. And Cotter is at home murdering his wife? So where the hell is Gash? Smashing? Oh, no. <laughs> oh! Right, uh, put your clothes on, for God's sake. I'm getting a bunch of people flashback here. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, Dar. Well, I do. It was me up at Cotter up to I thought I could get you back together with Peaches and Brady again. It's too soon for that kind of commitment, even if it was for Peaches' sake. I know, son, I know. Listen, just you enjoy yourself, because I'll tell you, one day you're going to wake up feeling trapped, bored, old and bloodless. And the woman that's lying next to you is going to pat you in the head and say, Oh, at last, at last you're behaving like an adult. Because I'll tell you, you're never more mature to a woman than when you're stretched out in your good suit and she's laying pennies in your eyes. <laughs> I always remember that. Is that how it worked out for you? Listen, son. See, when I heard you were out your skull, rampaging about the place, bullet naked, <laughs> there was a bit of me that said, Go on your cell. That's my boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> Violin. <laughs> You've missed a bit. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Easy. Listen, you hear him here. I don't know what your problem is, but let me ask you this. What the hell is the point of having a face if it doesn't give you some comfort? Lighten up, for God's sake. You've, you've got to get your groove on sometime, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's his groove. You know what? You've just given me food for thought. But you're still a fat bastard. Jesus! He <laughs> is mean. What about a groove for Cotter? One that's six feet under with a headstone after what he did to me. Uh, don't you worry about Cotter. I'll take care of Cotter. Bugger it, come on. Vogue! <laughs> <laughs> <Let> go! <laughs> Disappointment in love has they killed your appetite, I see, Brady. <laughs> no, no. I'm in luck. Doctor says I've got bipolar. The way I see it, I'm eating for two now. Hey. <laughs> Oh, cool. Listen, it's from my dad. Hi, Pip. That's me. Sexy swine. Have a lovely day. Kiss, Daddy. Isn't that great? Oh, aye, that's great. I went run and tell all your school pals your new nickname. Peaches one. Kiss, they'll be so jealous. You're just raging because Dad's got a new girlfriend. I couldn't care less. I am far too busy with all my varied interests and hobbies. What, fags and bingo? <laughs> we win. What's she like? She's wee, fat, bitter and foul-mouthed. No, a passion yourself. I knew it. 
but I'll no gloat. This yap is zipped. You're right. You're a dancer! <laughs> All right, I gloat it. Too jealous. Uh, Camille, <clears throat> might I trouble you for a snowball? Oh boy, you freak. Forget it, Jamesy. I've got my top shelf knickers on. They start at Wick and end at Dover, if you get my meaning. Who? What'll it be? Ah, same again. Shit. All right, Jamesy. Uh, Rap, well, what can I get you? A new best pal for a start. I came to you for help. Ram, if you're going to be disagreeable, I must warn you that I have an underactive thyroid, which can... And yet again, yet again, you shafted me. That's, that's on you. Get all that anger, because, I mean, I, I'm big enough to take it, you know? No, no. You're small enough to provoke it. That's the difference. You used me. You used me to try and pull Camille. That's no fair. He did, Camille. He spiked my drink. Is that true? On the sacred memory of my dear departed parents. Oh, dad. Why are you spiked his drink? You knew it. You've run too far this time, Cotter. No, oh, Rap. I'm really ashamed. No, you yeah, no. You'd say in. You'd say in to get yourself off the hook, wouldn't you? Hey, Rap. Any at all, Rap. Any at all. Even this, which I'm saying now with my mouth using words. <laughs> It's nothing more than a craven attempt to avoid a thoroughly deserved and no doubt most excellent kicking from the lovely boots of your very good self. And, if I may add, your fine son, the Numpty, for whom I paid daily. No hard feelings, Gash. No feelings. No feelings at all. You're chucked. Whoa! Rob, are you going to hit me? Govan Kiss? No. No, I'm not going to hit you. I'm just going to offer you a piece of advice. And it is this. You stick with Ella. Because, because a lonely life is not a life to be wished on anyway. As my fellow Christian here will testify. Now, that right, Reverend? The floor is yours. I would like to thank Rab. As you know, I've been living under a cloud since my wife left me. But now I'm beginning to see a way forward. If I can help someone as I travel on. <laughs> the revelation came in a blinding flash. It really did. God loves us. He really does, and he's sitting in heaven waiting for us. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a minister. So I already have my ticket booked, so what the hell am I worried about? I should get my groove on. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's crazy! <laughs> that felt good. Yo, he's crazy! Terrible thing, passion, isn't it? Oh, heat, may light. Oh, Revan! What? You missed a bit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. And there's more from Rab next Thursday evening. Next tonight, stay with us for drama with Enid. Oh, God. <laughs> God, what an episode there, boys and girls. That priest was on another level. When he told Reb, like, early on in the episode, he was like, F off. <laughs> Holy crap, you ain't never hear no priest say some stuff like that. So, man, so uh, crazy, you know, how kind of mean that guy was, man. What an episode. Again, you know, when you think that Jamesy can't do anything more crazier or, you know, he can't surprise you anymore, his lengths still have no boundaries. Him underneath, sitting in that dark place, looking up, man, that is some sick shit, perverted shit. Uh, damn, just, it's just crazy. And then the length that he was going to kill Ella 
but she ended up making it into some sexual arousal thing right there where he was going to get it in. Just shows the kink level of both of them. Uh, you know, she got out of it, but James Lee always trying to get out of shit, shit talking, coming up with some sort of excuse and bullshit. Uh, and he's good at doing that. And he always been. But man, some small part of me, and, and I know that Rab has changed now, where he doesn't drink, but it's obviously apparent that he still misses it because he wanted to, you know, fondle it and you know he was putting his finger there so a lot of uh you know kind of like sexual references to this drink man and and, and you know i i gotta commend him for giving up the drinking but man it, part of me misses it does anybody else miss him drinking because when he's drunk and he's on that bender oh it's it's no sweeter thing he just does it so well that i love him for it but um you know, but again, as he's changing in the show, you know, I, I respect it. Uh, you know, I think it's commendable. Um, cause, yeah, we've we've had friends that uh, had heavily, heavily drinking problems. And I haven't mentioned this too much uh, in my life. But, you know, when I was in my younger, you know, early, early 20s and stuff like that, you know, I did a couple of internships, uh, you know, where I met people all around the world in these internships. And uh, there was a kid probably like 18 years old. And and when we were doing this internship, it was a lot of strict uh, things where, you know, people are not allowed to drink in these uh, establishments. Because just think of it like you're doing an internship, but it's a living internship, if that makes sense, where you live in like a campus and then you go to do the internship. So a lot of kids out there were like drinking. And, uh, you know, one of the, the kids that I knew, you know, who I worked with, 18 years old, you know, he was into drinking so heavily, you know, that, uh, you know, he, he killed himself from just over drinking. So, you know, this is part of the reason why I don't really drink like that, um, you know, at such a young age. So, yeah, again, I haven't mentioned this to a lot of people, but, um, yeah, it's one of the reasons why I don't really drink like that. You know, it has to be a super duper special occasion or anything like that. But, um, you know, life life can be short. Life can be short, but yeah, I just still love the episode. Uh, Gash, you know, being, uh, you know, unfortunately drugged was, you know, was messed up on Jamesy's part. Him going into jail for being naked, you know, he was probably streaking or some shit, uh, was crazy. And the priest did a hell of a good job there. But yeah, there's no limits with Jamesy, and it's mind-boggling sometimes how crazy he can be. So you know, my eyes are always on him. His even his little hair, uh, you know, his little hairstyle. It kind of reminded me of it. It's like a, one of those birds that kind of has those little, uh, like a mohawk. I forgot. I don't know if it was a cockatiel or some some shit. But there's a bird that I've seen that looks like his hairstyle that he had. So you know, Jamesy doesn't disappoint. Uh, you know, he definitely scares me sometimes with the levels that he goes. But again, still very enjoyable. Um, you know, rap dropping those wisdom. He's always been a smart guy. In my mind, you know, always dropping these crazy philosophies. But, um, yeah, still loving the show. Season 9, a lot of great to enjoy. So, like the ending bit said, um, next Thursday, you already know the drill. We'll see you next time. Peace and love. Thoughts in the comments down below. And I wish you all a great day. Peace.